it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts and today I have a crafty haul for you guys. So I haven't been out of the house and I haven't been shopping and uh, I don't think I've been to Tuesday mornings in uh, uh, I think it's going on seven weeks now. So I'm really hoping that they uh, start opening up things and uh, you know kind of calms down here but I'm in Louisiana and they have tons of new cases here so I'm still staying at home and not going anywhere. And I thought that I would share with you something that I purchased from Creative Memories. So I joined Creative Memories back in December uh, last year and uh, made a couple orders, but I don't think I've actually shared any of my orders with you guys. And so I, I thought this one would be a fun one to share because I did get quite a few embellishments and I got some of the uh, newer collection that they just came out with that's really cute. And so I just thought this would be a fun one to share. And I'm going to start off with the punches because that's my favorite thing. And I did purchase uh, two different punches. This is a new punch and it's called Camera Love. And uh, this is just adorable. I saw this uh, when it, it just came out. It's a brand new punch to Creative Memories. And uh, they have a whole collection, which I, I got paper and uh, um, stickers and all kinds of stuff for this collection. But... Isn't this adorable? I just love this punch and uh, I just think this camera is just too cute and I can see it using this for all kinds of uh, layouts. So I wanted to give it a try. Let's give it a try and try it out because um, I'm anxious to see what it's going to punch out. And I got some cardstock here. I'm actually uh, joining in an embellishment swap. Uh, with the ladies over at the Love RTS Facebook group. And that is the group that is uh, kind of fans of RTS scrapbooking with Janet. And so um, I'll put a link in the description below for the Love RTS uh, Facebook group if y'all are interested. But they're doing an embellishment swap over there. And I have to uh, make my embellishment. So one of the things I thought that I would do uh, was do some of these punches. I'm also going to be creating some buttons and the theme for the embellishment swap is spring and so that's why I kind of picked some of the colors that I have here but let's give this a try and just try it out I'm just super excited I just love these punches from creative memories they're so easy to use and uh, isn't that adorable it's just a really good size for a scrapbook layout and it does uh, punch out a heart which you can use as well so you get a camera and also a little heart. I just think that's adorable. So um, have that camera punch. And then the other punch that I got is one that my friend Judy purchased. And uh, after I saw her punch, I just had to buy one. <laughs> and that is this one right here. It's called the Double Heart Punch. And this one is really cool as well. Um, let me see if I can get this open. And I have been um, home all day today, but they were outside um, trying to put the siding back on the, the uh, they took all of the parts of the roof off because my patio cover uh, got uh, destroyed in the storm. And uh, they took uh, parts of the roof off, including the siding, to fix and repair the roof. And when they did that, now they had to put the siding back on. So the siding people were here all day making noise. <laughs> so I'm really glad that they're gone. <laughs> I'm happy that my house is getting fixed, but the noise is just driving me crazy. Okay, so I'm um, going to go ahead and just punch this out. Maybe I'll do pink because this is a heart. So I have this really pretty pink paper here. And these punches just punch so easily. And this punch, it punches two pieces. It punches this heart, which is a really cute shape, and I like the size of it. And it also punches out this heart. Uh, this heart here so it's like an outline and then uh so you can layer this too so if we wanted to maybe uh do a yellow one here and uh i thought this was really cool because i think you could piece this back together and i think that would be really neat so we could make a yellow heart with a pink center and then a pink heart with the yellow center. Isn't that cute? That'd be, that'd be really cute to do a scrapbook layout with all different color hearts and maybe stitch through it with the sewing machine. Um, that would be super cute. So I know that Missy Wooden has, uh, that reminds me of a layout that she did. But yeah, that would be really, really cute to do that. Okay, so I'm super excited about adding these two punches to my inventory. 
of punches. I love punches and I love creative memory punches. They're like the most awesome punches. My favorite. So, okay. So, I've got two punches. So, let me show y'all what else I got here. I don't know what to start with. Let's see. Um, I did shop the last chance and uh, I guess on uh, the creative memory sites, they have a category when you go to the store called last chance. And in the last chance are things that are they're going to be discontinued. Some of the items in last chance are on sale and some of them are not. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how they determine what things are on sale or what are not on sale. But maybe the older items are the ones that they put on sale. And my mom, um, when she when we did an order, I guess it was for my birthday and for my sister's birthday. Um, I actually she actually bought this embellishment set and some other stuff from this collection called the Mermaid Cove. And uh, this was one of the things in the last chance, and they still have this available, and it's on sale for $5, and I thought this was so cute, and I'm going to open it up and show it to you, because you just have to see it. <laughs> I didn't realize how much, how many different things were in this pack until I saw hers, and then, of course, I wanted it, so I had to order it for myself. <laughs> so, one of the things that's in here are these really pretty... Uh, uh, a die cuts and they have silver foiling and they're really really cute so they have uh, different ones that have silver foiling and it is a mermaid themed uh, die pack aren't these just pretty I just love them and uh, so it's really pretty there's all these uh, different ones with this it's almost like a holographic foiling actually and just really really pretty uh, die pack Shimmer like a mermaid. That's so cute. I just love this. It's like a castle and just different things. The other thing that comes in there is this. And it's a set of uh, puffy stickers and gems and enamel dots. And I just thought that was just too pretty. So I picked this one up and uh, decided that I would also uh, get some of the other uh, ephemera that they had there. And these are like, a, they're called embellishment packs. And so let me share with you the other ones that I got. And all of these were five dollars, and they're they're all still available at the Creative Memory Store. This one is called Be Mine, and it's layered embellishments. And I have never seen these before, so this is new to me. And I just saw it online and uh, wanted to uh, give it a try. So this one here is uh, really cute. It's got some some frames, and then a couple of. Uh, Dimensional stickers. This is one with a donut that says Happy Valentine's. That's really cute. And then there's another sheet here of three-dimensional stickers. I just think it's so pretty. I'm hoping that it's picked the camera's picking it up, how pretty that is. And then the last thing in this uh, embellishment pack are these uh, enamel stickers. And there's enamel dots and hearts and little bees. So that's really cute as well. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, this next one is called the Bookworm Embellishments. And let's see what's in this one. This is all, this is as good as going to Tuesday mornings. I'm just super excited. <laughs> I just love looking at all this stuff. So this one comes with a whole bunch of uh, dies. And... It's got frames and uh, all kinds of things. It's got tags. This is really cute. It's got tabs and uh, all just different uh, little pieces here. That's really cute. And I love the feel of it. It's a really good heavy quality uh, die cuts. Very, very nice. It's a very nice quality. That's one of the things I really love about Creative Memories is the quality of all of their products is just really awesome. And they do back up their products. Their support is really amazing as well. And just a really awesome company. Look how cute report card. I haven't gotten a report card in many, many years. <laughs> this will be fun to play with though. Yeah, so they've got just tons and tons of uh, all different embellishments in here. And that's really awesome. So. All of those, plus they also have some uh, puffy stickers as well. There's all of these uh, puffy stickers here that are like stars and squiggles and little uh, dots as well. And those are super cute. 
Okay, so that's that one. Now I have um, one more here that is uh, part of the uh, ones that are on the last chance. And this one is called Imagine That. And this one is uh, layered embellishments. Now a lot of these uh, layered embellishments, they also have paper and other kinds of like flat stickers. And I think for the mermaid one, I also got the stickers and I'll share those with you as well. So they still have quite a bit available in these collections if you're interested in checking that out. Um, I just thought I would share this too while I still had it available in case, you know, if you wanted to pick it up, it is still there. Okay. All right, this one is uh, kind of like a superstar, not a superstar. Um, what do you call those people that go to save the world? I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, what do you call those people? Heroes? Superheroes. <laughs> And so they have all these really cool uh, dimensional stickers are like layered and there's several sheets here and I just think these really really cool now I don't know what I would do with the um, the superhero but all of these I think would go with the Disney theme which is why I went ahead and picked this one up because I think this would be really cute for like an amusement park or Disney or you know just like a even a birthday party because they've got like a cupcake and some other things here as well a flag and so I think it's very versatile I don't think it's just limited to superheroes and this is adorable look at the little camera I just love that <laughs> that is so cute so there's four sheets of these uh, layered stickers and that's really cute and then the other thing that came in that pack was these uh, really cool enamel stickers they almost look like gems they're very sparkly those are really pretty Okay, so that's uh, all of the things that came from the uh, last chance. So if you go to Creative Memories and you want to shop there, uh, if you go to, there's a category on the store called Last Chance, and all of the things I just showed you are under that category. Okay, and if you want to look for the punches, they have a category called punches, and so the punches are under there. Now, one of the other things I did get was a new... Uh, stamping a uh, trimmer blade called stamping and it makes this pattern right here let's see if I can make the camera show it to you and the way that the uh, Stampin' Up trimmer works is that you can actually stick these little blades into the trimmer and so I have a couple of different blades here and I'm going to show you the trimmer and how you can store the blades so here is my 12 inch trimmer from Stampin' Up and if you turn it upside down, there's places to store all of your different blades. And so I have um, an extra blade here. Then I have the scallop blade and now the stamping blade. And so the way that this works is that you just um, push it out. And then if you want to use this particular blade, you just pop this open here like this. And you pull this blade out. And this is just my regular straight blade. Then you can pop the new blade in and close it up. And we're just going to try it out because uh, I want to see what it does. <laughs> so let me grab this piece of paper here. And we shall just cut off this piece here. Cool. Oh, I don't think I pressed down hard enough. Let me try that again. <laughs> Maybe I need to lay it flat too. I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay. Nope. Do I not have it in there right? <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm just not pressing down hard enough. Let me see. Let me make sure I have it in there correctly. Oh, I'm just pressing not I'm just this is kind of thick heavy cardstock. I'm just not pressing down hard enough. Okay, let me just do it one more time here. There we go. Oh, that's really cool. I like this side though. That's super pretty. And uh, you can make all kinds of borders with that. That's really cool. I like that. So it makes uh, kind of two different edges because this edge looks a little bit different. 
So you can see here, it kind of looks like a wavy edge. Let me see if I can, I'm not doing a very good job of showing y'all this stuff. <laughs> I feel very disorganized right now. Okay, so let's see. So there you can see, that's really pretty. So that's one side of it, and then the other side is uh, this one. That is really, really cute. I like that a lot. It's really neat. So while I'm showing you this, why don't I show you the other one that I have here? I have another one. It's called the Scallop. So let me go ahead and show you that one as well. And it's super easy. You just take it out and you pop it in there, and then it's ready to go. And then we can go ahead and... Uh, Try this one out. Oh, awesome. And uh, this one makes like a little mini scallop. Let me see if I can hold it up with the other paper. I think it... Isn't that pretty? I just love that. It's a, it's a really, really small scallop. But I just think it's super pretty. And then, of course, the other side of it is kind of like a wave. And it looks like that. This top part right here. That'd be really pretty, like, on a... If you were doing a layout with water and uh, you wanted to kind of mimic water, that's really cute. Okay, so that's the blade that I got. All right. And this paper trimmer is awesome. So... It, uh, I really love it a lot. It's really easy to read the measurements. It's got these really cool uh, little guys that you can move up and down uh, that kind of give you a visual indicator of where it's going to cut before you actually cut it. And I think the blades last much longer than uh, a lot of the trimmers that I've used, like the Fish Cars trimmer. It has a, a better blade, I think, in it than uh, some of the other lightweight trimmers like this. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my blade back here to the straight one. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff I got from Creative Memories. Alrighty. I think that's really cool that you can store all your blades there. And there's room for quite a few. Let's see. Uh, you can do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different blades you can store in there. So that's super cool. And if you have an extra... Uh, I don't know what you call this, a mat. I think it's called a mat. You could actually store these uh, mats in there as well if you had extra mats to store with your trimmer. There's a place on the back of it to store that as well. Alrighty. Okay, so um, let's see. Let me show you the other thing I got with the last chance, which was uh, this one right here. And this is a sticker sheet from Mermaid Cove. It's three sets. It's three sets of stickers, and this was also five dollars, I believe. And uh, really, really cute stickers. These are cardstock stickers. Aren't those adorable? I just think these are so pretty. And then uh, here is the uh, second sheet. And then the last one. Our border strips and that's really cute I love the bubbles and then there's kind of like these uh, sea I don't know what you call those like seagrass or sea something that grows in the sea <laughs> okay so we have that one and uh, now all the rest of this stuff here was uh, oh wait this right here which is the peekaboo pockets this is something new they just started recently uh, selling these and it's a different size it's a 6x12 pocket and uh, they have the peekaboo pockets now in, I think they're like three or four different sizes. I can't remember. But um, I'll go back if I remember when I'm editing the video. I'll put it up here on the screen, all the different peekaboo pockets that they have. But these are really cool. And uh, I have uh, the smaller ones as well. And I have to be honest, I haven't even used them yet. Um, I have to, uh, to uh, try to figure out a layout where I can actually do this. But uh, it's, it's kind of cool because you attach this to your layout. And then you, it's kind of like making an extra part to your layout. It's kind of like a flip flap or a peekaboo pocket. And uh, you can uh, add additional elements to your page. And the first time I saw these was uh, when I watched some videos with Lauren at Craft Some Joy. And uh, I just thought they were really cool. So I need to probably try to figure out 
some layouts that I can use these with. But I really like this size and I thought this was really cool. So it's a 6x12 uh, peekaboo pocket. I think another company it's called a flip flap and uh, those are really cool. So, so I'm going to have to figure out uh, how to uh, use this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this last thing that I want to share with you guys is a bundle. It's called a decorative bundle. And it's from a new collection that Creative Memories just came out with called Picture This. And it's also the same collection uh, for this camera that came out at the same time. And I just think that this uh, particular collection is adorable. And so I just wanted to pick it up. So in this bundle, they have the ephemera pack and the uh, there's some mats. And then they also have some stickers and then a paper pack and then a tone on tone paper pack. And so this is the last thing I'm going to be sharing. And if you want to stick around for this, I'm going to open all this stuff up and show you all the paper and everything if you want to stick around for that. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have a little short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell. And so um, just wanted to go ahead and open this up and just kind of take a look at it and uh, share that with you. So hope y'all are as excited as I am. But I'm going to start with the paper because I think that would be easier. And I really uh, do love the Creative Memories tools, but I don't really have much of the uh, paper and the ephemera and the stickers. And I did get a few things um, last order that I placed with my mom. We did get, uh, they had a special running where if you purchased $50, you got some paper. So I have seen some of the paper packs and their paper is very different from a lot of other manufacturers. It's thinner. It's double-sided. The colors are very, very vibrant, but the feel of the paper is super cool. It's very smooth, and it's just got such a nice feel to it. And uh, it kind of uh, makes me think of Cartabella, but Cartabella paper is very thick and heavy, and it's got a really cool texture to it, where the Creative Memories paper is very smooth, and it's thinner, and uh, but it's got such a distinct feel to it. So I just love their paper. <laughs> But it is a lot thinner than uh, a lot of other companies make their paper, so <laughs> it's very different though. I just I just think the feel of it is just really cool paper. So I, since y'all since, since we don't have a uh, feel of vision and y'all can't feel it, I just wanted to <laughs> describe it to you because it's really cool. <laughs> okay, so the first pack of paper we have here is the designer paper pack, and this has 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double sided paper. And uh, these are all the different designs that are in there. Okay, so this first one is a black and white geometric. And on the back is this polka dot. It's really cute. I love the colors in this collection. It is really, really pretty. And there's, I guess there's two sheets of each uh, one of these uh, prints. There's this one that kind of looks like a camera sh shutter, and it's uh, little white uh, camera shutters on a black background. And then on the back is this uh, stripe. I love the colors in this collection. It's so pretty. All the black with the blues and the kind of uh, aqua and teal. So there's two of that one. Let me kind of do this so we can kind of see them all together. Super cute. I love that their that their papers are so um, it's kind of subdued in the pattern. Some of the patterns are busy, but the, at the same time they're very uh, I think uh, basic patterns, which I love when you're using when you're doing scrapbooking. Sometimes it's hard to work with, you know, if you have a lot of really busy busy patterns. So okay, this one is uh, some little uh, happy faces on one side, and then this side are some uh, I don't know what you call those. I think there's a word for it, but I can't think of what it is. <laughs> uh, then we have, okay, so that's the other one that we have there. Okay, then we have this really pretty navy and blue stripe. And on the back of this are these cameras, and that's cute. I love that. That's really adorable. Okay. Up next is this paper. I love paper like this. I love the ones that have the starburst. Uh, usually you see this kind of a paper in a yellow, and this one is blue. It's really cool. And on the back of this one is this really pretty plaid. 
Okay, and then this one is a uh, kind of like a teal color and it's got words on it and it's a polka dot. It's really cute. And on the back is this border strip. And that's adorable. <laughs> I just love all the cameras and then this uh, film strip is really cute. Okay, and then the, that's the last one there. So let me go ahead and move these over. So you all can see all the papers there. Those are really pretty. Okay, and then this one is the Tone on Tone paper pack. And what's cool about this is that uh, you have some busier patterns here and then these are more muted. So really great for layering, I think. And this one also has 12 sheets of uh, double-sided paper. So there's a polka dot. And then on the back is this uh, chevron stripe. And then there's a black chevron. And then on this side is a... Uh, a black paper with little hearts. Here is a blue and white polka dot. And on this side is a bigger polka dot. And then we have the blue with the navy hearts. And then on this side is a stripe. Really cute. And then we have the teal color, and there's this one that looks like it's little dotted lines. And on this side is a stripe. And then the last one we have here is another dotted line and kind of like an aqua color and then polka dots. So really cute paper. I love the, the patterns and the colors in this collection. I just think it's adorable. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. We also... Whoops. I buried all my stuff under there. I couldn't get to it. Okay, and so let's see what else we should look at. Let's look at the stickers. I'm excited to see the sticker sheets. And there's three sticker sheets in here. These are cardstock stickers. And they had some really cute sayings on here. <laughs> I just think these stickers are amazing. I love the little cameras. That's really cute. Taking photos is like therapy. <laughs> Super cute. And then there's some border strips here, some stars, and then these curly film strips, and then this one down here with the words. And then this last one here is a bunch of uh, black and white cameras, some arrows, and a black and white stripe. Really cute. So we have the stickers, and then uh, let's open this one. This is a mat pack and I've not ever purchased any of these. And this is uh, I guess it's kind of like Project Life cards, I think. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Let's see if I can open this one. It's kind of hard to get into. <laughs> Okay, so these cards, I think they look like four by sixes. Maybe it's bigger. It might be big enough to mount a four by six picture. But let me see if I can get a ruler. Let's see, these are, now they're six. 
it's four it's a four by six so these are four by sixes and then there's some bigger ones these are turn the roller right six and a half by four and a half that's really cool so there's these here that are four by sixes and they are double sided and that's really cute so you get this one so you can use it either vertically or horizontally and then there's this one that's a little film strip Let's see if I can lay these out. There's that one. These are really cute. Really, really cute. I love this collection. <laughs> and there's this one. I love that they go in both directions, you know, because sometimes you find one you really like it, but it's going the wrong way. So it's nice that they've made them go in both directions. And that's really cute. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Photography is a story I failed to put into words. <laughs> These are really cute. I keep saying really cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Adorable. This is adorable. <laughs> okay, and then here are the bigger four and a half by six and a half. And these are, um, oh, that's really cool. It's kind of like cut apart. You could cut that up or use that as a mat. And that'd be pretty neat. You could actually take this and use that to either mat a picture or mat one of these other cards. And that is really, 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 really cute. <laughs> And there's one with little hearts and on this side is a, a couple of smaller cards there's a polka dot and then there's one with a big camera that'd be cute for journaling and then there's one with grids on the one side and then the, kind of this card on the other side here's a black and white grid and on this side is another journaling card polka dots and another camera i love that Here's some black uh, black background with white hearts. And then a plaid. That's really cute because you could cut that out. It looks like a little Polaroid. All right, and some polka dots on one side and then this pattern on the other side. Is that a camera? Kind of looks like a camera. And then there's these, I don't know what you call these. Is that like a pal, like the superhero, like little bubbles, the speech bubbles you see in the cartoons? <laughs> and then there's this one. And then this one that says picture perfect. And the last one here is a polka dot on one side. I think that's supposed to be a camera there on that side. Okay, the last thing we have here is this uh, embellishments. And I think the embellishments from Creative Memories are just really, really nice. I love the quality of their uh, products. And uh, these are cool because they have some kind of a, like a finish on there. It looks shiny. I don't know if you can see that. And so here's another one that has kind of that finish. It's like a glossy finish. Let's see if I can get the camera to show it to you, but... No, it's not going to show it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but all the polka dots are glossy. It's really cool. There it goes. You see it now? Okay. <laughs> it wasn't, didn't want to show it. So there's like all these different things. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. You could put somebody's picture in there inside of that. And then there's little cameras. I'm not sure what is that. Not sure what that is. Uh, more little cameras. A little film roll. Uh, selfie. <laughs> Another camera. All different kinds of cameras. Lots of different, different cameras. There's one of those, uh, I don't know what you call those. <laughs> Some little circles. And almost every single piece has that... Uh, kind of glossy finish on it that's cute oh snap and say cheese 
And then there's another camera. Some photo corners. That'd be kind of cute though, like on top of something. It's kind of interesting, the shape of it, but it'd be kind of cute like that. Some uh, photo frames, and that one has a kind of a textured feel to it. So there's uh, several different photo frames here. Looks like four different ones. And then there's a bunch of hands. Some more photo corners. Different uh, hands with fingers pointing. And then I'm still not sure exactly what this is, but there's a couple of them in there. Um, yeah, not sure. Okay, and then some more photo corners. Really cute. Okay, let's see what else. Then we have the enamel shapes, and this has uh, has little arrows and uh, stars and little cameras and some enamel dots and i love the colors of those that's really cute <laughs> okay so that's all i have for this haul so i hope y'all had as much fun as i did uh, looking through all this stuff and if you want to shop at creative memories i would love for you to shop with me and i have a link in the description below in this video if you want to uh, shop with me at creative memories so um, that's all I have for you today, guys. So stick around if you want to see Bella and Lily Bell. And uh, hope you like this video. And if you did, please give it a like. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join my channel. And uh, y'all have an awesome day. And we'll see you next time. Bye now. What you doing, girls? Can y'all say hi to the YouTube people? No? Miss Bella, are you jealous of all the YouTube people? Yeah? You don't want Mama to make videos anymore? Yeah, I, I, spent, I spent too much time making videos and not paying attention to you. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I spent too much time? Yeah. <laughs> you object, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't, I can't spend, <laughs> I can't pay attention to you all the time, sweetie. I gotta have my own life. <laughs> I do. I have to have my own life. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Lillibell? Do you think I spend too much time making YouTube videos and talking to people at the YouTube world? You thinking about it? <laughs> Can you say hi to YouTube people? Bell, can you say hi? No? <laughs> you are too funny, Missy. <laughs> are you going to do anything? Can you bounce up and down? Can you twirl around? No? <laughs> hi, Miss Bella. You came back, huh? You want some attention? Do you want Mama to pay all her attention to you? Is that what you want? seem very unhappy today, Missy. What's wrong? Do you need a belly rub? Do you want Mama to rub your head? Are you thirsty? Are you hungry? Do you need to go outside and get busy? No? <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say the right question yet. Huh? Do you need a treat? Yeah. <laughs> it took you a while to answer that question. <laughs> Is that what you want? A treat? What kind of treat would you like? A good one? Okay. <laughs> a really good one. Okay. I'll have to go and look and see. What <laughs> okay, now you're being very noisy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, you're ready for your treat right now, huh? Should I go get it now? Yeah? Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so today they are going to be having the Total Grain Dental Care. These are like twos and they're made with chicken and peanut butter. 
Ooh, chicken and peanut butter. And these came from the uh, Tuesday mornings. We hadn't been to Tuesday mornings in a really long time. But this pack is still unopened. So I'm going to need to open it up. Okay, so y'all hold on. Okay, are you girls excited? Are you ready for your treat? Yeah? You ready? Yeah? Alright, y'all ready for your treat? Yeah? Are you ready? Down. Good job, Lily Bell. Down. Good job. Aren't you smart? Okay, Bella first. Take it. Lily Bell, sit. Take it. 